every edifice of Gopal Temple oozes history. Cultural heritage blinks here. In addition to that, the temple is full of religious tranquility. Gopal Mandir is situated near Siddheshwari Kali Temple. It is a wonder in terracotta art. The main entrance has three kilan type doors adorned with terracotta panels. The first door has eight Shiva temples, the main ten Shiva temples and the third one has eight Shiva temples. Besides this, there are some creepers and floral decorations. In the middle, there are Mongol ghats, Navagraha chakras and the panels of gods and goddesses. And at the top, there is inception script. Mughal paintings along with western art add on the wall. The inception script shows that the temple was built in 1766 AD by Krishna Chandra Bormon, an official of the Bordhavan Raj estate, and the temple was built during the reign of Tilak Chand. The idols of Gopal or Lord Krishna are installed at the Garbhagriha of the temple. The temple is east facing and there are 25 churas or pinnacles. In the first step there are 12 monuments. The second step is having 8 monuments and the third step contains 4 and topmost is having 1 bigger monument togetherly 25. Foreigners throng here to have the glimpses of Bengal terracotta wonders. All the panels are full of terracotta works. Now just have a glimpse of the terracotta wonders of Gopal Mandir. Here you can see some glimpses of erotica. Most of the terracotta panels are lost to time, but the few that are still existing that can make you wonder. On the wall, we may find terracotta works or models empaneled like dancers, musicians, companions of Radha in Krishna Lila, lotus floral decorations and the glimpses of world. The terracotta panels of Lord Krishna, Ganesh, Kali, Mahadev, Radha Krishna, Sri Ramchandra are also visible here. Though the color is lost and brightness is no more, only glimpses of their beauty soothe our eyes with wonder. We are bound to be led into the wonders of our medieval art. Gopal Mandir is not only a temple. Here we have artful blending of religion and culture. It is an epitomization of secular religious culture. The temple complex here has been a breeding ground for Loko Sanskriti or folk culture. Jhulan Jatra, Jatra Utsav attracted people from all sections. Folk song was nurtured at the temple complex. Torja Gan, Kobi Gan, Dharma Shongit, Harinam Shankritan were annual routine programs used to occur here.
not only that, Janmashtomi is held here with pomp and grandeur. Thus, Gropal Mandir promotes and is used to promoting folk culture, drawing in all sections of the people, irrespective of their caste, creed, religion, and sex. Bordhaman Raj State continues their financial assistance for maintaining of the temple, but the assistance is not sufficient enough to carry on all the programs. This is Rash Mancho. It is situated by the side of Gopal Mandir. During Rash Utsav, the deity of Gopal is installed here for observing the Utsav.